Welcome back to another Olive video editing tutorial. In this video, we're going to be learning how to resize and scale and rotate uh, video and images in Olive. Uh, so to get started, I'm actually going to bring in one more image I just forgot. I have a just a picture here of myself sitting on a couch. So I have two video clips. I have an image. We'll go open up our image viewer. We have the the logo for Olive. And then I have some different video clips here. Uh, and then a picture, just a steel image, a JPEG image, and then another video clip that we've done in the past. Um, so let me drag down a few of these. We'll drag down this video clip first because I want to show you scroll out by holding down control and scroll wheel. I want to show you with this video clip here, if we click on effects, it's empty like we learned last time, but if we select the video clip, this effects window shows us all the effects applied to all the selected video clips we have. Since these video clips are linked, we have a video clip and an audio clip selected. So it's showing us that transform is applied by default, although no changes are, have been made. So to change the size, we can you know, ch change size or rotation or position some different things. And we also click over here and move it around. But by default, nothing is changed. So everything is just back to how it was. If we check this box right here under transform, it sets everything back to how it was, or rather it doesn't apply any of the transform changes that we've made. So that's a way you can toggle to see what changes are being made by an effect is by toggling this box on and off. And also we see our volume and pan, those are applied to the audio. So different effects are applied differently. There's audio effects, video effects, and they don't you can't apply an audio effect to a video track, if that makes sense. So in this video, we're just going to be talking about the different options we have under Transform. So let me resize this, the window a little bit right here, just so we can see a little bit better what's happening. I'm going to zoom in. Um, so we have our um, position is one thing. We'll, we'll reapply the changes. And if ever we get it, our video to a point where we don't really like the changes we've made, we can always right click on that particular part and go to Reset to Default. Uh, or we can right-click up here in Transform and go, oh, I guess we can load from the file. Well, we can just delete it. Actually, I should show you that. If we delete this, or maybe in future versions of uh, Olive, it won't come as a default effect applied. To re-add it, we just click up here. This is a, it says Add Effect, I believe. Yeah, Add Video Effect. So we left-click on this and go to Distort, and then go down to Transform, and that adds the Transform effect to whatever video clip we have selected. So in this case, it's just this one. Just for fun, I'll bring down a picture and I'll bring down a couple pictures and this other video clip, just so that we can see we're applying to this and not to these. If we click these, they look a little different. Like the pictures, for example, don't have any audio, um, whereas the video clips do. And then this one, if we were to scale it half size and do a rotation, uh, then we click on this video and we see it does not have those, uh, it says 100%. So just be aware of whatever you're clicked on down here is what are, what effects are applied. But let's go back to, uh, so this one here, we can see we can change it around by left clicking and holding and moving it like this. We can change the rotation by clicking on this green dot at the top. We can change the size of it here. And we can also make these changes over here by left clicking and just holding and moving to the left and to the right to change some of these. You can also even scale, if we check this box that says Uniform Scale, we can change this uh, to scale uh, differently. So we can just stretch it horizontally, or we can just stretch it vertically. So sometimes you'll want to do that to correct maybe a squished picture that you have or something. And then the rotation works around this point. So wherever this point in the middle is at, is where it'll rotate around. So right now it's rotating around the center, but if we move this point to like the top, uh, can we move the top left corner? Move it up to the top left corner, then it'll rotate around that point. So now when we rotate, it's like, you know, kind of doing that type thing. Woo. Uh, that's the rotation point. Um, what else? Oh, opacity. So opacity, we can see. Opacity is how transparent it is. So if we were to overlap this video, or let's do our, let's keep this video here. Let's bring our playhead to this point. So now we're looking at this image over top of this video, over top of this video, and some audio is overlapped there as well. So now we'll see this image, which it's not a 1920 by 1080 image, which is why we see these bars on the side. So if we want this picture to fill the whole viewing space, we need to select this image first of all, 
and then go to the scale and we can just change the scale of this image right here we can increase the scale just like that and maybe we change the framing of it so that we're we have it be however we want it to look and then we keep it just like that but remember all that other video is happening in the background so when we play this we'll still hear the audio of these tracks down here and these other videos are going to be playing so as soon as this picture stops being in frame we'll see what's played behind it and then this picture comes on this is a good a good interesting point too this particular picture uh, the olive logo it has a transparent background so we can move it around uh, we need to select it first so we select that video clip by clicking and then we can move it around here and it goes over top of the video oh that's right i remember why i was getting into all this is because their opacity so if we change the opacity of this we see it becomes we can make it go all the way invisible if we set it down to zero and 100 percent is all the way no transparency so if we wanted to we could merge this is how you can do a watermark for example you add it to the bottom corner or a certain part of the video and that becomes like a watermark that you can still see the video happening in the background but then that's there but that's not lasting too long so we gotta go back we can make it last longer too these other buttons over here we're going to get into in the future these are for key framing enable key frames that just lets us if we wanted to for example with the opacity we could have it start strong and then fade out so you can kind of create some animated effects or you can have your video rotate as time progresses your video is rotating or scaling slowly panning in that's going to all be with keyframes check out the other tutorial for learning how to do that and um, we haven't covered that yet and we're not going to cover it in this video and then blend mode there's only normal right now uh, that's because this version of olive is still in uh, alpha and so I expect there to be more, this will be add a, a feature added in the future where we can blend. And that's basically has to do with the opacity and kind of compositing how um, different videos overlay with one another. Um, that's basically everything for transform though. Get in there and play with the with transform. Um, what do we talk about? Yeah, we talked about how to add it in. We talked about if it's, if it's applied to a certain clip. I'm gonna leave this video here. Leave questions and comments below if you have any and um, catch you in the next video.